Okay, to Frank, love from Yoko and Sean. Oh my gosh, this is really a mystery. Hi, my name is Frank, it's Friday. That means it's time to kick back, relax, and talk music. Today on the mailbag, I got this package that uh, just came in the P.O. box straight out of the UK. I don't know who sent it and I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to check that out. Plus another package from Chris over at Analog Restorations, and he's been telling me about this. He's making these really cool high-end custom cork mats for turntables, so I'm super curious about that. Let's get at it. All right, this came to the P.O. box and I wasn't expecting it. I don't know what it is. It comes from uh, Simon Hilton and it comes from, it comes from uh, Great Britain. So I'm excited to open this. And again, I don't know what it is. It feels like records. Um, I might be a little concerned. This is, it's a thinner envelope. It's a thinner kind of cardboard. So I hopefully it made it okay from across the pond. But uh, let's check this out and see what's in here. Okay, had some stiffeners in here, so it was all good. Okay, to Frank, love from Yoko and Sean. So thank you very much, Yoko and Sean. I didn't look what you sent. I didn't look what the record was. I want to check this out first. Okay. Oh, Yoko and Sean. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this says. Dear Frank, join the Plastic Ono... Okay, what is this? This is curious. Dear Frank, with the Plastic Ono band albums, John and I liked the idea of this really raw, basic, truthful reality that we were going to be giving to the world. We were influencing other artists, giving them courage, giving them dignity to a certain style of vulnerability and strength that was not accepted in society at the time. It was a revolution for Beatle to say, listen, I'm human, I'm real. It took a lot of courage for him to do it. Love, Yoko Ono Lennon. This is really interesting. Um, I don't know what the story is here, but uh, what is this? Okay, let's see here. John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band 2LP. Huh. Well, this is very curious. Hmm. There's the card. Yoko Ono. But um, whatever the story is, it's going to be a mystery. This is, uh, this is really a mystery. Anyway, let's check this out. Released in 1970, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band was John Lennon's debut solo album. This 50th anniversary 2LP set includes the original album completely remixed from the original multi-tracks at Abbey Road Studios by Paul Hicks and overseen by producer Yoko Ono Lennon. The second LP includes 11 outtakes, again completely remixed from the master tapes. Also included is a booklet and a War Is Over poster. As I said, I got no clue. I got no clue what's going on. So, uh, whoever sent this, um, I don't know what the story is. Anyway, there we go. Here is the inside. Looks very, very nice. Come to the poster. This is going to look familiar to you Beatles fans out there. War is over if you want it. Love and peace from John and Yoko. All right. There's the label. We got to check. We got to check the pressing quality on this one. Yeah, that one looks good. And look at this. Who are the plastic Ono band? And we got a, another record. This is all very cool. Um, hold on one second. Anyway, I was just looking this up. So this all seems legit. They got this new album out. This card, this card is a mystery. This may be the biggest mystery to ever face. It's channel 33 RPM. But I gotta tell you, as soon as this video is done, I am gonna check out that album. So um, thank you to Yoko and Sean and Simon, whose name was on the customs declaration for this cool yet mysterious package. Thanks, guys. You rock.
Hey, it's Frank. I was just sitting here editing this video and I wanted to pop in here quickly with a couple of updates. First of all, I found it pretty amusing because watching myself, I come across as dumbfounded by this um, package and not really getting it at first. I, I was kind of laughing when I looked at it and said, oh, thank you, Sean and Yoko. Not fully realizing we're talking about Yoko Ono and Sean Lennon. So I just want to come in here and say that was very cool of these guys to send it. I've done some digging and this whole thing seems legitimate. Um, um, the customs declaration, as I told you off the top, was signed by Simon Hilton. And according to Wikipedia, Simon Hilton is an English music video concert and documentary director and editor based in London. UK who has worked with Yoko Ono, so that seems pretty legit. Um, also, we know that Sean Lennon is a big vinyl guy, and finally this record arrived at my place before it was out in the street, before the street date. So it's weird, because usually these packages come from the record label, so it was really cool to get this directly from the John Lennon estate or the John Lennon organization and to have that personalized note from Yoko, which to me seems personalized, it seems legit, but again, I guess, right? We we never really know. That was number one. Number two, I've listened to the records, and while I don't have the original, I, so I can't do an A-B comparison, sounded great to my ears. And uh, Working Class Hero is probably my favorite track on that album. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, so I want to give you that quick update. Stick around, because now we're going to go to that thing with the cork mat. And after that, my wife, Sherry, is going to be on. She got her very first piece of mail from uh, Channel 33 RPM viewer, Ty. So check that out. Sherry hasn't been on a y on this channel in a little bit, but she was a frequent guest, and she will be back again in the near future. So check out this, and then stay tuned to the end of the video to see Sherry open her surprise mail. All right, and this last one, this is really cool. Actually, look at this, hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? Lionel Richie. Anyway, I got this message from Chris over at a company based out of New Jersey called Analog Restorations, and he makes custom, um, custom high-end turntable cork mats. And um, he wanted to send me one over, and I believe the one he sent over has the Channel 33 RPM logo um, on it. But he sent this really cool note, because this company, this company, man, they're doing good stuff. And Chris donates eight bucks from the sale of each of these to charity. Completely selfless guy. Anyway, check this out. He says he used to run a vintage audio repair shop. COVID hit, he uh, shut down. But he kind of got the itch to do something else, so he started dabbling in turntable accessories, including cork mats. In this email to me, he says he bought several mats from other companies. He dissected them to figure out what he liked, uh, with the goal being to make a great uh, turntable mat, a cork mat, at an affordable price. And he said the thought of printing on them was an afterthought. So he says, the bottom line is that I am not a print shop looking for something else to print on. I do not laser etch, I do not laser etch the mats, he says, nor screen print. The mats are actually sublimated and done in two steps. This is to keep the surface of the cork touching the album perfectly smooth, as you can feel. So I guess we'll feel that in a second. So he says, so now you have a very fine grain cork with no fillers with your logo on it, surely to improve sound and static over felt and rubber mats. The largest gains we see is in sound due to the dampening of the cork. Uh, so that's cool. He also threw in a 45 adapter, he says. He says, nobody in the world except me makes one. So only he makes this particular model. He says uh, it took him over eight weeks and 17 designs to get to that. Anyway, I'm really curious because I've been emailing with Chris for a couple weeks about this. Right now on my turntable, I'm actually using an acrylic mat. Um, and I've used cork before, but I'm not sure if I've ever used anything quite as good as this one. Oh my gosh! Wow! Whoa, 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 wow! I'm gonna show you this first, because this, this jumped out at me. Look at this. Do you see this? 
it's a channel 33 rpm logo it says this is an, an adhesive brushed aluminum badge designed to give your turntable some extra style you sent me a few i got one with the focus camera can you focus on that it's not focusing anyway got that this one says hi-fi and we got this one as well i don't know if i can get this to focus and you can see the light there that is nice i love it okay well i'm, I'm already impressed i'm already impressed chris but okay look at this a vibration dampening cork 45 adapter made in the usa put a cork in it and look at this i mean first of all i love his slogan put a cork in it look at this how cool is that custom made turntable platter mat medium density ultra low static natural cork quartz cork why did i say quartz designed for audio improved sound quality through increased dampening and stability i gotta open this very carefully oh yeah this thing this mat it's got a a smell to it. it's like a natural kind of cork smell to it this is really really soft and the printing is clear and beautiful yeah i mean it's it's hard to explain this just feels feels level and and flat and it just feels soft like the, this front part feels softer than the back this is fantastic i'm going to quickly move it over here so you can see the new cork mat on my turntable all right i brought the camera over to the turntable right now i have this um acrylic platter from hudson hi-fi that i use but we will carefully take that off and temporarily place it over here then we got the um, cork mat from Chris. So there we go. How does that look? Very cool. And then might as well put that Black Sabbath record on here. Whoops, sorry for knocking it around. So later I'm gonna adjust my turntable just to make up for the um, thickness of this mat. I'm sure it's pretty similar to the um, acrylic one, but uh, just in case. There we go. I can't play the actual music because it's copyrighted and YouTube doesn't like that. So um, but I just do want to check this out. This is awesome. I absolutely love this. But since we're here, we may as well check out that cork or the, um, the, the 45 adapter as well. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I got this uh, Rolling Stones Mother's Little Helper 45. I'll just, uh, how are we going to do this? There we go. I think I got it. Let's see if that turns. Throw it to 45. And yeah, that is, uh, that is awesome. Works just as intended. Love it. Thank you so much, Chris. Channel 33 RPM. Hi there. Um, I haven't been on for a little bit. I'm Sherry. Um, this is channel 33 RPM. Uh, Frank went to the mailbox the other day and there's something for me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, from Ty. So I wanted to come on and open it on here. I'm excited. Actually, this before I open this, this is I think the first thing I've gotten. Sorry, Frank's just over there. Um, this is the first thing I've ever gotten from anybody here. So thank you very much. Strange Death of Marilyn Monroe by Frank A. Capel. Oh my god. This is amazing. Is there a note? Oh, one second. There is no note. Copyright 1964, so this looks like it's an original. Oh wow, look at that. They even have the corner information in here. It's got a copy of the original as well in there. Hi, thank you so much for this. I appreciate this. Um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm actually going to go upstairs and read this so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me read silently. So thank you, Ty, um, and take care. And I guess like Frank says, keep on spinning. All right, 33 years. One of the more exciting episodes of Friday Night Vinyl, wasn't it? Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Remember, if you dug this video, I appreciate a quick thumbs up. 
Also, please do check out Chris over at Analog Restorations. This guy, this guy is doing such a good job and he's one of the nicest, most polite people when I chat with him. So check it out and tell him Frank sent ya. Otherwise, dear 33ers, hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Until next time, keep on spinning.